In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why entrepreneurs are a different breed. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my personal situation, how I've grown and developed my own companies. I was a server. I worked in a restaurant for a very long time. I didn't make hardly any money, a couple thousand dollars a month. I didn't live in a nice place. I didn't have a nice car, and I've worked my way up and earned it to the point where now I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and I choose to work and improve and grow my businesses. And today, I want to walk through why true entrepreneurs are a different breed, and while most people want to start a business, the odds are they're really just a entrepreneur. I have a list of things that I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, that outlines some of the situations that I've been through. Just to give you guys an idea, I got my first job when I was 17 years old. I worked at a car wash, and then I was a dishwasher. I worked my way up to a server to where I made a couple thousand dollars every single month. Life was pretty good. It was easy. Then at the age of 21, I decided to start my own business. I bought and resold electronics, bought them through Craigslist, resold them on eBay, I worked my way up, and in 2018, we were ranked on the Inc. 500 list, and I did over $8 million in revenue that year, and we had 13 employees. I bootstrapped this all the way from the beginning. I started with $2,000 and worked my way up. I then sold that company. I started a software company, built that up to 30,000 users, sold that, and then started my Amazon business. My Amazon business went from zero to over $20 million in annual revenue in under two years, and I sold that to a publicly traded company. So I can personally say I have been through the mud, the, the thick and the thin. I have bootstrapped it. I have met many different people along the way, and here are the few things that helped me become better, what I realized about myself, and hopefully can help you as well. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the sanity level. That's what I like to say. So any normal person would think I am absolutely crazy for the things I do because logically it doesn't make sense. I might be able to achieve things where I have such things as maybe a nicer car than somebody or you might have a, you live in a nicer place. But what did you have to sacrifice and how much effort did you make in order to get that? So if you, right now, you drive a $10,000 car and you want to drive a $20,000 car, that is something that is twice as nice, you know? That's a very common thing that any beginner would want to start with. But are you willing to work 10 times as much in order to have something twice as nice? Because that's what entrepreneurship is. It doesn't make sense. Any logical person would think I'm crazy because the amount of effort it takes in order to get the results that everybody, that I have when doesn't make sense. And that goes for every single other entrepreneur out there when they're starting their own business. The reality is you're going to have to work 10 times harder only to be twice as good. Next thing I want to talk about is the work and the improvement never stops. So even on a Friday, on a Saturday, on a Sunday, I am constantly thinking about improving and every one of my friends that are true entrepreneurs are in the exact same boat. They don't get time off. They don't get time away from their job. Sure, they don't have to work at a certain moment, but they never stop thinking. They never stop innovating. They never stop improving. And that is one of the best ways to show the true signs of an entrepreneur versus a entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs talk about it. Entrepreneurs act on it. And when they don't have to act, they constantly think and improve in order to act better. Next thing I want to talk about is self-education. This is probably the most important one because as you grow, you will become more lonely. You will have less people who can relate to you. At this point in time in my life, I only have one or two people that can understand what I do. Only one or two people I know personally that I have a relationship that have built a software company past $10 million in annual revenue, have sold it through an MMA uh, mergers and acquisitions team, and I don't have a lot of people that I can talk to. Most people can understand and grasp the concept of what I do, but they never can really put their feet in my shoes and go through what I've been through. So the technical outlining, the four years of working, the seven years of working before even getting my first paycheck, the millions of dollars of my own money that I've invested that I worked 10 years, and this is a little tangent, I worked 10 years and then spent all of that money in two years to build 
and invest in the future of a better product that I wanted to bring to the market. Just think about that. Are you willing to work 10 years to then invest some, all of that money into risking it all on a product? In this case, it was on inventory. Inventory.com, we're an inventory management software. We help online sellers track all of their data. But ask yourself, are you willing to risk everything you work for in the last 10 years that you saved up to hopefully be successful in your next venture? Because a true entrepreneur is willing to do that. And I am constantly improving, investing, educating, and I know I'm not going to fail because I don't quit. I've never quit. and I'm not going to quit anytime soon. That comes to my next thing I want to talk about is encouraging challenges. If you are scared of competition, if you're worried about your competition coming up with an idea that's better or stealing your ideas or anything like that, you're not even cut out for it at all. I can be honest with you. I personally right now am competing against some of the largest companies in the world. There's not a lot of inventory management softwares out there, and the people who do it are companies like Salesforce, Microsoft, Oracle. These are multi-multi-billion dollar companies that could squash me at any point in time. But guess what? I don't quit. And you shouldn't quit either because what I do is these Goliaths, I'm able to chip away at them one little chunk at a time, just one little chip at a time. It doesn't make a difference to them. They still grow faster than I grow probably, but I'm able to chip away. Will I ever beat them? No, I'm never going to beat Microsoft. Come on now, we have to be realistic. But will Microsoft recognize who I am and possibly acquire my company? Yes, most definitely. That's exactly what's happened in my past where my competitors who are bigger than me recognize me and then they swallowed me up and that's a perfect acquisition in my mind. So I highly suggest and encourage you to take on bigger challenges, to take bigger risks because there's never been a time when an entrepreneur took a bigger risk and invested further in themselves and they went backwards. There might be a financial measure where they go backwards, but they have never learned less. You ever met somebody who re read a book and knew less? That never happens. The same goes for entrepreneurship. The amount of time that you effort, the amount of time that you apply and the efforts that you make in your business will reflect on your future, even if you don't get a financial benefit immediately from it, because you will learn from your mistakes and you will be able to work faster. What took me eight years to grow in my last business took me 18 months to grow in my next business. Just uh, understanding and the challenge that I was willing to accept and the failures I made, I didn't replicate those and it sped up the process to my success. Now the next thing and the last thing I wanna talk about is competition and being obsessed with your competition, your market and every single thing around you. So I personally am obsessed with every single aspect about my business. I love building the technical side and designing new software and coming out with ideas. I love talking to my clients and figuring out things that are working for them and things that aren't working for them and how we can figure out to improve. And most importantly, I love delivering and coming out with a new product to the market and marketing it to see how people accept it to see if they buy it to see if they really wanted something else whatever it may be it's a challenge to me every single time and i highly encourage that you take on those challenges and you enjoy that competition any time that my competition comes out with a new feature that we don't have yet that makes my blood boil but not in an angry way i'm not angry at them i'm telling myself that i need to step it up and so I'm obsessive about it. I'm extremely competitive, and that will never change in me because I love that. I love the that part about it, the art of the deal, the cha chasing after what could be next, fighting against the competition, even if they're bigger than me, just to be able to have my name on the board. So guys, these are things that I would highly suggest that you look into to discover whether you're a real true entrepreneur or just a entrepreneur. Are you the type of person that's going to work 10 years to only get a few years ahead of everybody else? Is that something that interests you? Or do you just want to work for somebody like me and enjoy all of the moments, but be able to go home and forget all and not have to worry about it? These are things that you can ask yourself and you can learn as you grow and discover new things in your business. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little bit, and I'll talk to you later.